Hello, my Coffee Break Clubbers. This is Dr. Andrea, and it's time to talk uh, another point in our lessons on leadership throughout the month of March. This week, our topic is leadership through uncertainty. In case you haven't noticed, we are in uncertain times. So if you're like me, every time you turn on the television or every time you look at social media, you're just flooded with information. And it's hard to decipher what's the truth versus what is just hype. So whether you're leading your organization and having to communicate information to them or just leading in your family or in your church or in volunteer efforts, it is critical that we rise up to the challenge that we're faced with. And that is the, the, the challenge of uncertainty. So what I'd like to share are four strategies that I'm hoping you will develop a plan against as you begin to develop your messaging for the organizations, your family that you're leading. Okay, let's dig into it. I got my cup of coffee. I hope you have whatever your beverage is. And remember to download the coaching guide when you're done so that you can start capturing some of these points. So strategy number one, get your emotions under control. It is so easy to give in to panic and to all the things that are going on. But as leaders, no matter what is rolling inside of us, we have to find a place to find that peace. It's okay to kind of be able to share concern, but remember your organization, even your family, and for those that have children, you understand this one completely. They will only project what you project. So pro projecting calm and cautious and whatever the messaging you're trying to get out, but do it from a place of peace. So that's strategy number one, get your emotions under control. Strategy number two is focus on what you know at that moment. Now it's easy to speculate and put your opinions in it, but if you stick to the facts, it is easier for the organization to be able to digest them and to be able to move with you when things are so volatile and changing. So in one moment, you may know something on a Tuesday, on Friday, everything you thought you knew on Tuesday had, has now just been invalidated. But if you stick to the facts, the organization can follow you through the ebbs and flow of the communication. So that's strategy number two, reflect what you know at that time. Don't speculate, stick to the truth. Number three is be open and transparent. Being open to learning new things. Like many of you, my children are home and having to learn how to navigate um, um, being able to interact with their teachers and their fellow classmates on an online platform. Now, granted, being online is something that's not new to our, our kids, but they're used to sitting in a classroom, so they had to be open to learning something new. As leaders, you too have to be open because there's a chance you may have to operate differently than what you did before. So whether it is the, the scare of a health crisis or some other crisis that you're hit with, you still may have to absorb new ways, new ideas of doing things. So being open. The other one is about being transparent. And being transparent creates vulnerability and trust in the organization as they're following you through this uncertainty because people are looking for a glimmer of light when there's complete darkness around them. And as a leader, you can rise up to that challenge. All right, are you ready for strategy number four? Strategy number four is communicate. Communicate, communicate. Did I say communicate? Communicate, communicate, communicate. I cannot stress this enough. During times of uncertainty, it is critical, imperative, so important. I don't know how, I, what other words I can use to get this over to you, that you have to communicate because communication helps to reduce panic and helps keep people focused on the messaging that you're trying to get, get out. So even if you told them, tell them again and tell them again and tell them again, communicate, communicate, communicate. Okay. I've laid out four strategies that I want you to develop a plan against to help you during these times of uncertainty. So whether the uncertainty is the health crisis or whether the uncertainty is some business crisis that you're dealing with separate from this, or it could be something further down the line that you're hit with, these four strategies can help you develop a plan and stay focused through a time of uncertainty. Well, that is it for, tonight, for, for now. This is your challenge for this week. To, employ, uh, to actually 
implement those four strategies into your plan, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a message, download your document, take advantage of any of the exclusive offers I have going on. So until next week, stay inspired.